Hello kids! Good day! Once again, I'm Teacher Janet and we have a new lesson today. Our objective for today's lesson is to identify and describe ways of changing solid materials in terms of their size, shape, and texture. But before we proceed to our lesson, let us review what we have taken to our previous lesson. What do you remember about the lesson? Can you classify now the materials that undergo decay? Let's take a look at the materials below. Rotten grapes, banana filling, kangkong stem, leftover food, plastic bag, tetra pak juice, glass bottle, and pieces of rock. Materials that undergo decay. Rotten grapes, banana peelings, kangkong stem, leftover food, plastic bag, tetra pak juice, glass bottle, and pieces of rock. If you got the perfect score, you're an excellent learner. Congratulations! For our today's lesson, we're going to identify and describe ways of changing solid materials in terms of their size, shape, and texture. Mga bata, pag-uusapan natin ngayon kung paano nga ba natin dapat baguhin ang hugis o ang size at tekstura ng isang solid materials. Children, do you have any idea on how the solid materials undergo change? Paano nga ba nababago ang isang solid material? Ano nga ba ang pwede nating gawin sa mga ito? Ngayon, yan ang tutuklasin natin. For our today's activity, you need to prepare the following materials. Paper, paper cup, rubber band, paper clip, and scissor. Ito ang mga kagamitan na kakailangan natin upang malaman paano nga ba nababago ang ilang mga solid materials na nasa paligid natin. Kids, pause this video for a while and look for the materials. Okay? Go! Naihanda na ba ninyo ang lahat ng mga gami? Okay! On your science notebook, answer the following question. A. Take a piece of paper and cut it using scissor. Remember kid, be careful in handling sharp object like scissor. Question number one. What happened to the shape of the paper? How about its size? Do you think you can change the properties of this paper? How? Letter B. Take a paper cup. Try to cut it using a scissor. What happened to the shape of the paper cup? How about its size and shape? Letter C. Take the paper clip. Be careful in handling it. Bend it. What happened to the shape of the material? Letter D. Now get the rubber band. Stretch it. What happened to the size of the material? Are you done? Very good. Okay, children, let us check your answer based from your activity and observation. Remember, honesty is the best policy class. The possible answer would be for letter A, what happened to the shape of the paper? The paper changes its size and shape. How about its size? The size of the paper changes to, into smaller bits. Number three, do you think you can change the properties of this paper? Yes. Number four, how? The properties of the matter changes by means of cutting, folding, and crumbling. For letter B, what happened to the shape of the paper cup? The paper cup changes its shape. 
How about its size and shape? The size and shape of it also changes. What happened to the shape of the paper clip? The paper clip changes its shape. What happened to the size of the rubber band? The rubber band changes its size and shape. Children, remember that solid materials can be changed through many ways. Cutting, tearing, folding, twisting, bending, stretching, pressing, coloring, crumpling, and melting. Such actions may change the material size, shape, texture, color, and other properties of materials. Is that understood, class? Kids, I have here five questions for you to answer. All you have to do is to choose the best answer. Write your answer in your science notebook. Are you ready? Okay. Number one. Jed was playing with his modeling clay. He was able to form different shapes in it. How did Jed do it? A. By cutting. B. By stretching. C. By pressing. D. By melting. Number two. Which of the following describe what happened to the modeling clay? A. The clay changed its size and color. B. The clay changed its size and shape. C. The clay changed its volume and color. Letter D. The clay changed its volume and texture. Number 3. Angel cuts a piece of writing pad. What changes happen in the property of the pieces of paper when it was cut? A. The pieces of paper change its size and shape. B. The pieces of paper change its color and texture. C. The pieces of paper change its volume and color. Letter D. The pieces of paper change its size and odor. Number 4. Ed needs a tin sheet of his project. He has an empty tin can of sardines. How will he able to flatten the shape of it? A. By hammering. B. By coloring. C. By stretching. D. By cutting. Number 5. Gina bought several pieces of wire from the hardware. Accidentally on her way home, some pieces of wire were bent. Describe what changes happen in the property of the bar of the wire when bent. A. The tire wire changes its size and texture. B. The tire wire changes its color and shape. C. The tire wire changes its volume and odor. D. The tire wire changes its size and shape. Okay, check your own work. Remember, honesty is the best policy. Okay, are you done? If you got a score of 5, encircle it and write 100. Oh, very good. If you got 4, encircle it and write 80. If you got score of 5 and 4, Congratulations! You may proceed to the next slide. If you got score of 3 and below, go back to the video and review, then repeat the activity. Good luck! Children, remember that solid material can be changed in size, shape, texture, and color by means of cutting, tearing, folding, twisting, bending, stretching, Pressing, coloring, crumpling, and hammering. Solid materials may change their size and shape, but no new material is formed. Only the physical appearance of the materials change. Do you understand class our lesson for today? Did you learn something today? Okay, very good. That's all for today. See you next time. Bye! Maraming salamat sa pakikinig mga bata. Hanggang sa muli nating pagkikita. Bye-bye!